Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. Please follow the housekeeping rules, which is to click on the nice yellow or rather red subscribe button at the right hand corner. Give this video a big thumbs up and click on the bell notification to be informed of any of my upcoming releases. If you are one of my many esteemed returning subscribers, Aquaba, Karibu, welcome back. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Today I'm going to be looking at um, an, an issue that I came across um, and it's one that is very shocking um, to be presented with in 2021. So I was going through some of my, um, shall we say, um, video channels that I normally watch from time to time um, and this young Nigerian YouTuber's um, video um, struck a chord with me. Um, so to give you some background information, the young lady is called Sandra. Um, she's a Nigerian YouTuber. I believe she's about 32, 33 years old. Um, she's a widow. She lost her husband, I believe, just over a year ago. It might be shorter than that. Don't hold me to that one year, but the fact remains that she is actually a widow. Um, so what has happened is um, she has gone through a lot. You know, obviously at such a young age, she'll lose her husband. Um, the background story to that, of course, is there. Um, she married him. That didn't. I mean, according to her. Um, he was much older than her. Um, she was sort of forced into the marriage anyway, or cajoled into the marriage. Let me not put words in her mouth. Um, you know, convinced to marry the man. Um, she ended up marrying him, and um, I believe after a very short, a brief period of time, he passed away. Um, the shocking thing is the family at some point, um, uh, not all the family, some members of the family at some point, accused of having something to do with his death, um, akin to what you see in Hollywood movies, where the widow is um, accused of witchcraft and rituals and things like that. Um, maybe a milder version took place with her. Um, so she was able to overcome that um, and move on. Um, and when I say move on, I move past that impasse, um, and they, they, they've allowed that to happen. Now she has been forced to wait for it, marry her brother-in-law. Yes, you heard it right. Her uncle-in-law said the family had a meeting. And apparently they want her to marry her husband's younger brother. Um, not because of any other reason other than they expect her or want her to keep having children in the dead husband's name. Does that sound right to you? Does that sound stupid to you? Does that sound... Uh, I don't even know what words to use. Now... This is not a faith-based thing, so it's not Christians, it's not Muslims, it's not... I mean, okay, Muslims, you can marry more than one wife. And, and, and to be clear, the man that they're asking her or forcing her to marry is actually already married. And what he is saying is um, he will make her his second wife just to keep having kids for his dead brother. And I don't... That's... There's no logic behind that. If she wants to have more kids, she can marry outside, but they want to keep the bloodline is the excuse they're using. They're not a royal family, so they're not like the Egyptians who practice incest. Um, they just want this young lady to marry somebody within the family and to keep the bloodline going. Now, I have 
I'm a big believer in African traditions and cultures, and I respect them up to a certain point. Um, I don't believe that this is something that's in the Igbo tradition, because she's a Nigerian. Um, I believe it's a family decision, um, so I'm not going to attack the culture. Um, I'm going to attack the people who believe in that sort of nonsense. Um, and then for the actual um, brother-in-law to actually say, yes, I agree. Well, as you can look at Sandra, you can tell she's a very pretty, curvaceous, vivacious girl, um, very attractive, um, and can turn heads wherever she goes. So um, she'll have no problem finding another man if that is her mission in life. But according to her, that's not what she wants at the moment. She's struggling to raise her children at the moment and the family are not helping her. So the carrot that the family have put in front of her is marry your late husband's younger brother and he will take care of you. They don't want to find the man outside and getting on with her life. So um, for those of you in the diaspora, I'm sure you will have very strong opinions on this. Um, and those of you of African descent in the diaspora, maybe you can understand this and help us educate those in the diaspora as to the rights and wrongs of this. Do you know anyone who's been through this? Is it right? Is it wrong? What are her options? Anyway, that is me for today. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the section below. You know what to do. I will try and get back to them as many as possible. Peace, one love, till the next video, stay blessed always.